going to take anything other than a high percentage shot. Top pocket, nine. Patrick, the first shot of the game, rips it home. If you are going to trap the screen and roll, the 20 to 30 points in a big game. Really the offensive rebound, the emphatic putback. This is a night when the shot goes up. There's only 11 points. 11 point average, 30% shooting for the first two games. He's three of three this evening. Great pass. Inside, we've got a whistle. 11 rebounds during the regular season. He's Rob Duke. Glad to be with us this evening. A precision offense. What the New Jersey Nets call the Nets. Outside, Davis from the arc. Exactly. Here comes Kenny Anderson. He has been quiet so far. Harper, nice job defensively. Ewing gets a piece. He's been playing solid basketball ever since the first month of the trade. Ewing, another rejection. That a bit closer to him and force him to catch and put it down on the floor. Ewing, the one fake, puts it up, and he gets the roll. Patrick looked right at you and suffered in game one when he hit the floor. So not only is the 14 for Coleman, the lead is 13, the biggest. Ewing, Potter, Morris, the strong move. Ewing put a shoulder up. Still an 11-point advantage. We played a minute five. That's the way you run the court. Ewing from behind. Morris getting makes a shot here now for the Knicks. The fast break points in this game. Hey, you know what? Game three isn't really that important. We no. really have three games to win one. We've got till Sunday. Yeah. Two and harder. We've had great officiating in this series and we're seeing it again this evening. Ewing inside. That is a big time slam. Chris Morris didn't have a prayer. Right, he back up to 14. They have done a magnificent job in making that diagonal pass. 19 points in the 10 board. You must continue to feed the guy because he's working for you at both ends of the floor. Biggest lead was 16, but since then, New Jersey has gone to almost a one-on-five game, and Patrick Ewing and company gradually chipping it. Was in a series. Now the big thing, they've got to hold on for the next 12 minutes. You must play aggressive basketball because that's what got you here. And Newman for the next. There's plenty of time here. Eight seconds. Gilliam has it slapped away by Ewing. Great strip. I don't think he had that many touches either above that. Anthony toes the line for the three. Oh, Greg Anthony buries the three-pointer, only third quarter. Because both teams are good foul shooting teams. Ewing, the nice move inside, doesn't get it. Then he strips Edwards, and then he's fouled on the play. Quick hands by Patrick Ewing, and Stark steps between them. You know, just keep an eye on this. He extends. Now, Edwards, as he comes down, he wants, he, he's not looking. You have to look up, and if you were looking up. Here you have six newspapers covering game. Play how it got here. The Knicks, they, they claim that they're a great fourth quarter team because they're in such terrific shape. And, and they brag on that. And they always say, hey, we are a big fourth quarter ball club. Ewing from the corner. Blackman the rebound. Patrick will try it again, and he makes good. And here's the reset. Both teams have three timeouts. Right now, the Nets have not scored in the last four minutes and 15 seconds. Strong double team by Coleman and Edwards. Uh, that's a gimme. You're on the foul line. Both 43 minutes. And what's happening to your ball club is Mason. <laughs> You know, I tell you what, if the New York Giants need a blocking end, a <laughs> tight end, Mason might be the guy. Oakley in, Blackman out, starts to the hole, it goes! That's why he's in there. That's a couple of Kevin Edwards free throws. Taking it one-on-one. -on -one. Gilliam oh, can't get the slam to go down, but they control the ball. Plenty of time here now. Holman, the finger roll rejected by Ewing. He's putting a yeoman effort on tonight. Nick's only down by two. It's a, it's a clear out, one on one for Gilliam. Mason puts up the head, swatted by Ewing, his fourth rejection. No, and the Knicks have the basketball. Yeah, Baden had it wrong, but he corrected himself.
I tell you, you got to give Patrick his due here. Now, now, just watch this. Now, Patrick is leaving his man. See, the center, the guy that he's playing has got the show. Edwards and Coleman for the next. You have to get it in here. Look at his trap. All right, it looks like they're going to have a high screen and roll maybe with Coleman. I'm surprised. I, I just let him take it. Anderson inside. Rejected by Ewing, his fifth, with two-tenths of a second left. They'll probably add one ten. Well, now remember tenths, right now, now just it. watch as he leans in. Here comes Ewing, and he catches that. Now that's what's happened over the front of the rim here. No, it is overtime. Patrick Ewing, since he picked up his fifth personal foul, the Nets went 0 for 9. They went the final nine and a half minutes of the fourth with the opponent. The Nets by two, we have two minutes left. Ewing takes once, twice, takes a step in, and he has to get the roll. The tip goes! Right now, got clock at 10. There's Stark spotting up again. Edwards keeping a lookout as the shot clock reached four. Ewing the follow. Oh, my goodness! Boy. Patrick wanted that one all the way. Doug Daly not calling a timeout. They're going high screen and roll. They, you, you. Anderson falls. This is off. Gilliam gives it up. The basket. Oh, no. He had a and foul. foul. And a foul. Tonight. Yes. They're tied. Six points in the first four minutes. He's got it. The next lead, nine to do is switch on that. Blackman pops out, starts, got stops the three on the way. No, we're going to game four. How about the fact that he got a wide open look at the basket? Unbelievable. John Starks had 